Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Sky Studios. So today's tutorial is going to be this scene. If you have a basic idea about modeling and curves in Blender, you guys can follow along. So let's uh, start our scene. So you guys can uh, see the keys I'm pressing on the right corner of my screen. So I'm going to select everything with A and delete and add a plane. And I'm gonna select only one word. I'm gonna select three vertices and delete them and leave one vertice. And add a screw modifier and increase the screw to 0.5 meters and increase the iterations to about 20. And I'm gonna select it and apply the screw modifier and add the subdivision and surface modifier with control 2. And I'm gonna select the top vertices and enable proportional editing and make it sphere and check connected and rotate and push and pull the vertices until it looks like it's coming from top of our camera so until i get a smooth curve that looks like it comes it, it's uh, coming from the top of our camera uh, be pushing and pulling what is then I'm gonna look at it from the sides as well with three in the numpad and this looks fine for me and now I'm gonna add a cylinder scale it down with shift Z and scale it with S Z. Gonna move it to the top and scale it down again. Now I'm gonna tap into edit mode and add a loop cut with Control R. And <laughs> with the mouse wheel, I'm gonna add a bunch of loop cuts, a lot. <coughs> and I'm gonna left click. And tab out of edit mode and move it to the top. I'm gonna select our spring shape and apply the subdivision surface modifier and press F3 and type convert and convert curve from mesh. So I'm gonna add the select the cylinder and add the curves modifier and select the object curve we created and make the deformation axis the Z axis and add the subdivision surface modifier uh, I think I might not add the subdivision surface modifier just yet so I'm gonna remove it for now I'm gonna add an array modifier and increase uh, put it on top of the stack and make it 1 in the z axis and 0 in the x axis so you guys can see there's a harsh edge so to delete that you guys can deselect the top vertices and tap out of edit mode and apply it and then delete the top vertices so before that you have to switch on x-ray mode and then select those vertices and delete them because there's two faces uh, in between we're gonna delete those and all select the edges and f3 and type bridge edge loops and add a loop cut with control r and we're gonna do the same thing again add an array modifier make it zero and one put it on top of our curves modifier you can see the harsh edge again Tap it in mode, select everything and deselect the top vertices and tap out of edit mode, apply the array modifier, tap in again, select those faces vertices and select edge select the two and F3 and type bridge edge loops and add loop cut with control R. Now we have our curve cylinder and I'm gonna move it to the top with G and Z. G 
GNC movie stars and you will apply all transforms to both the cylinder and the curve so now I'm gonna select our curve and our cylinder and shift T to duplicate it and rotate it with our Z and type 180 to rotate it 180 degrees and now I'm gonna select it and with control A I'm gonna add all transforms to both objects and now we can animate our scene before that I'm gonna add my camera and place it on top and with control alt 0 place it and zoom in a little bit with G and Y and place it where right there with G we can move it so before I animate I'm going to edit preferences and in animation the default interpolation to linear I'm gonna select the first cylinder and move it a minus four meter a minus five meters in the Z axis and make our uh, end key and uh, keyframes 120 and insert a keyframe in the first frame and select our curve and add a keyframe with I and select the second curve curve and add a keyframe as well and select second cylinder make it minus 5 meters in the z-axis and add a keyframe as well and move to the 121st keyframe and move the cylinder to 0 meters both the cylinders and add two keyframes and select our curves and make them uh, 360 degrees and add keyframes With I, so we can see them rotating. So for the shading, I might increase the speed a bit. So I'm going to the shading tab and selecting our first cylinder and adding a new material. And I'm going to add a Werner texture. And if you guys have the node regular and on enabled, you can press Ctrl T to get the mapping nodes and the texture coordinate node. And I'm going to plug the object into our Werner texture, add a color ramp, and apply transforms with Ctrl A, and make the color ramp constant. Add a mix shader and plug the fact, uh, plug the color into the factor, and duplicate it duplicate the principal BSD sh BSDF shader and play with the scale of our Werner texture swap the two materials increase the metallic value of the first uh, of one material and there you have for our first material and the second one I'm just gonna copy everything and paste it in the second material and add two Werner textures and play with the settings y'all can uh, if y'all if you guys want you guys can copy uh, the <coughs> values I'm using to create the material you like I'm going to make the random value to about 0.3 and change the color and make the transmission to about 0.5 till we have material like this now I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna add an environment texture which I've downloaded from uh, hdrihaven.com not that one And I'm gonna make it about 0 0.5 and I'm gonna add two area lamps increase the strength to about 500 rotate it in the x-axis minus 45 degrees and duplicate it rotate it go to the front a bit 
and play with the lighting until you feel so that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and um, i have a few tutorials in my youtube channel you guys can check them out if you like this one and uh, please uh, leave a comment and like this video also subscribe to the channel um, your likes and support uh, helps uh, keeps me making more videos so thank you guys see you in the next one